This morning, I had a wild couple in my courtroom. You know, a recent study found that trust is the major point of conflict in the majority of relationships, good or bad. I met a couple today looking for answers to this issue when they came into divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Brenda Berry and Raymond Jones. The two of you have been together for 16 years. On and off, you have each have six children, one together? Four together. Four together. Mm -hmm. And and two apart. Two apart. Uh, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start with you, Ms. Berry. Why don't you tell me what's going on in your relationship and why after all of that time you seek to end this relationship? Well, for one, I do have trust issues with Raymond. I um I think that uh, he could be more helpful with our children. But let me just explain to you what really goes on. Um, I, um, I was living in, we were both living in San Antonio, Texas, okay? Uh -huh. And I had relocated to San Diego. I explained to Raymond that I was going to be issuing him a ticket and that he was going to come up. It would probably take me 30 days to secure a place, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and get things established for us. Um, Raymond comes up to California, and he's not alone, though. Um, Basically, uh, you know, we interact with each other that night. The next morning, Raymond comes up to my school and is like, uh, we need to talk. And I'm like, what do you mean we need to talk? Um, I have a situation. What, what's your situation? Um, I'm burning. <laughs> What you mean you burning? Like, what you want me to do with that piece of information? Like, okay. seriously. You, you know okay. what I mean? I, you know, <laughs> then come to find out if he had just got, was burning that freaking morning, that means that he slept with this girl like a couple of days. So he had an STD and he was coming he to came, your job to tell came, you and let was, you know. Wait, I was also <laughs> pregnant, okay? Mind you. I was six months pregnant, <laughs> okay? He tried to tell me, like, um, who you been sleeping with? <laughs> Excuse me? You're not pulling that one this time, buddy. You might have worked a few other times, but not, not this, this time. One. That's right. Mr. <laughs> Jones, did you try to pull a fade there? You came back with a little extra. Well, uh, and uh, you try to blame her for it? At first, you know, I wasn't even sure that we was going to get back together when she had left. You know? mm -hmm. That is not true. He, I was sending for him. Hang on. Um, and uh, throughout our past, you know, she's been the one that cheated. You know, <sighs> she's always been a cheater then. Uh, I done caught her a couple of times in situations that's, you know, kind of hard a little to suspect? Yeah, a real suspect. You know, um, you know, it was like... Have you been suspect in the past? Have you been you wrong? You know what? There's reasoning behind my cheating, okay? Uh, I mean, and not Everybody cheating, got a reason. Me. I don't mean just, like, cheating, because I don't consider it cheating. I consider cheating, like, sleeping with somebody, you know, having sex with people. But what are you I doing? I felt like I was yeah, just being doing? a charismatic woman that men catered to. That's what I felt. And then what makes it so bad is I was bringing the boiler what I was getting on to him. She lied. Like, you know, and all actually, So you I would mean, go out and date realize, guys and they would give you... A pimp. He don't even see know. That, see that, that, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear, no, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> but what, I'm just but, trying to understand what's happening. You would go out with guys, you would date them, they would be I generous knew, with you when you bring it home. People that she was I knew, like, you know, because we, I was from Texas as well, you know, and I, I've been back and forth from Texas to California, so I knew people in Texas, I knew people in California, you know what I mean? But the whole thing is this, if Mr. Jones was a little more responsible as far as his finances and things of that sort, he wouldn't have never had to worry about me seeing any other person. I always said that I thought that he was one of the best people that I ever met, minus the finances, his heart is good, all that. He just needs to, you know, carry his, his weight. Game, but yeah. Okay. Well, if so I, if I have I'm to... still stuck on the STD story. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's let's put a period on that one, and then we can move on to finances and the other thing. I understand she made you take a polygraph test. Why did she make you take a polygraph First test? First of all, with that cheating thing on her, I only cheated on her one time, and that was behind, you know, with so the story I just told you. It. Okay. Uh, uh, one time. Okay. Uh, we moved to California. You know, I was working and everything. You know, she just Is this thought, about the polygraph test? Yes. That's what I want to know. Yes. Okay, go She's, ahead. Every time I do anything, I go play basketball. You know, you didn't go play basketball. You just threw some water on you. That's not sweat. He you would know. come and... Stop, stop. <laughs> Let Mr. Jones finish his sentence. Go so, ahead, sir. you know, there's been times where... Um, but anyways, I come home from work one day, 
And this is big old white guy sitting in the living room. So, you know, I'm hesitant and walking in. I open the door. I'm like, boom, close the door back. You know? Uh, well, well, who do you think he was? I don't know. I, it was just a big old white guy. He was bigger than all of us put together. You know, he was huge, you know? He looked like somebody that'd be at your high school doing security or whatever. So, um, you know, I go in the house and everything. He tells me I'm, I'm investigator such and such. I'm here to give you a poly exam. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, you know? I look at her and like... You said, okay, cool? Yeah, I love her. I'm gonna do anything to make her feel good, you know? So what, what happened when you popped out with the, with the polygraph examiner? So I had been telling him that I was thinking about hiring a private investigator. I think that he thought that I was him? kidding. Yes. Yeah. But I think that he thought that I was kidding. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I hired that guy. And so he came in. But my thing is this. I didn't even believe that guy, to tell you the honest to God. She too. didn't believe the second one either. Because when I left, let me tell second you. Second one? Hold, hold up. Hold oh, yeah, up. I, I, hold I, I took up, two of them. <laughs> I took two of them. You made this man take two separate polygraph test? And I paid $500 a pop for each we, one. Yes, we, ma'am. We. Yes, ma'am. And how did they turn out? I'm going to tell you. The first guy, <laughs> when the guy came to the house, okay, listen. <laughs> I had to leave the house and go and get the money from the bank, right? So, at first he's coming in like, you know, I'm unbiased. I have no opinion. I'm just here to administer the polygraph. You know what I mean? So, don't worry. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. So, I go to bank, go to get the money from the bank. When I come back, he's like, oh, I can't stand a woman that down talks her man and you know what I mean like and I'm looking at him like dude when I just left here 15 minutes ago that's because he only got to hear my side of the story and, like now you know whatever so so what did you bond with the polygraph examiner no, while yeah. he was out getting the he money to did. pay him I mean, that's what she assumed and he I didn't bond with nobody I was trying to that bond with her I even wanted her I even wanted me. her to be in the room while, while I took the exam I got it I got it I got it were there any messages oh, no. oh, were any strange like underwear in the washing machine? <laughs> Anything to indicate to you yes. concretely See, yes. that wait, he wait, might wait, be cheating? Hang wait, on, wait. Mr. Jones, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, she woke up one night, I smelled like cocoa butter. <laughs> now, Miss Barry, you gotta be happy that I like you. <laughs> Well, I Cause you talk too much. <laughs> but I, I, I haven't said that. I want you to answer this next question direct. I don't want to hear about anything other than what I'm asking about. Okay. Did he pass either or both polygraph examinations? <clears throat> he did, but under such huh? conditions. No, 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 no. Did he pass them both? Yes. <laughs> she called me James Bond after the second one. <laughs> I work for the CIA. I now, can Ms. pass Ms. polygraphs. What? Well, no, Mr. Jones. Yes. You seem to have taken that very well. If yeah. I, if I, if my husband came home, big white guy in the house talking about they're gonna give him a test, <laughs> you know, we'd still be arguing. I understand. I'm over. That didn't bother you. No, because I knew what she was going through at the time. You know, I wanted everything to stop. You know, I was tired of all the accus you know, saying accusing and everything. You know, I just wanted everything to stop. Did she have any basis whatsoever to believe that you were cheating? No. I mean, there were, were there any texts? Were there any messages? Oh, no. oh, were any like strange that. underwear in the washing machine? <laughs> Anything to indicate to you yes. concretely See, yes. that wait, you wait, might wait, be cheating? Wait, wait, Hang wait, wait, on, wait. Mr. Jones, go ahead. Yeah, I, I, she woke up one night, I smelled like cocoa butter. Man, let I me smell tell like cocoa butter. The night when he said he came home from playing basketball, right? He says that um, I I done a test on him then too, cause I don't. I mean, what I kind do of test? A she test. walks around with the polygraph still to this day. I do, but I don't. Whoa, 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 Hang on, hang on. <laughs> you say you carry around the polygraph with you. I don't. Let me you see. Know. It. <laughs> let me see it. I don't believe it either. I think that the man, like, took some white out or did something and changed one of them positive sevens to a negative seven. Now we magicians. I'm James Bond, and I associate myself with musicians. Uh, I've seen a few of these. Yeah, hey, it looks legit. It's legit. I paid. And he's passed them twice. Yeah. The only question give that me, I failed. Give me, give me. Because cause you're not sounding really rational right now. Other See, than the, the, the hey, 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 I'm still talking to you. Other than when you guys weren't together and he brought back an STD, clearly he was doing something he ought not be doing. We all agree on that, don't yeah. we, Mr. Jones? I plead the fifth. Okay. <laughs> what is the, the most concrete evidence that you have? I don't want to hear about no sniff test. <laughs> I want to know this that question. That you have that he may, in fact, 
ha be having an inappropriate relationship with someone? Well, other than the fact that he brought me an STD, you know, I think that's How enough. How long ago was you that? You know, I mean, it was a few years back, but I just feel like, you know, some things... But like I told you before, Your Honor, you know, I do have trust issues, you know, which come... Stemming legit, from... You know, childhood issues and things of that sort. Other I do love Raymond. You know, don't misunderstand. I do love him. But I have to know that the people who are in my circle, I can trust them. You know what I mean? That was my reasoning behind um, giving him those tests, you know? And although, you know, I, I know that I have trust issues. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't you, you know it's not all things. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it's I know that I'm not all. crazy either. You know what Are I mean? you sure? <laughs> <laughs> better plead I the might fist. be thrown off, but the word crazy, that, that kind of trips me up a little bit. Because when I think crazy, I think, of, you know, crazy. Talking to yourself and playing, feeling, the hair, you know, matted hair and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? So I know that I do have some issues. You know what I mean? that, you know, Raymond can't fix, that, you know, someone else has to help me with. Right. But I'm myself, you know, still struggling through those things. You know what I, I mean? I got you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I got a lot of girls in the house, so it's, like, really loud. So, you know, mm -hmm. I got to turn my surround sound up just to hit a TV. I bought an air horn just so I can get my, you know, <laughs> hey, uh-huh. Because they're loud. If they're I settle down. No, I got to honk it a few times. I got to walk by each person and honk it. <laughs> Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Don't forget to join the conversation on social media. Go to facebook.com slash divorcecourt and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at divorcecourt. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Jones, you had a response to what she just said. Yeah, I understand her, her situation with her insecurity and everything. That's why I did the things that I did to make sure she was comfortable, which I stopped doing a lot of things other than work. I stopped playing basketball and everything. But, you know, I think I'm supposed to be on that side, though. I think, you know, because I, I need to do some complaining, too. Cause... Well, well, complain away, Mr. Jones. Well, we'll she, give you an opportunity. She, she nags me about the littlest of things, you know? like Such as? When I come home from work, you know, I kick my shoes off. I might leave them right there where I'm at. The remote's on the table, you know? I, I, I call her Miss OCD. Because no matter what I do, she could come in the house and the remotes, you know, I got them where I can reach them. I'm laying back on the couch. I'm enjoying a little cigarette or whatever. She comes in, grabs the remotes. I'm tired of this everywhere. Putting the remotes all in nice order and everything. So, like, I have company over. Whatever. I'm like, I'll show y'all what my girl be doing to me every day. <laughs> so, as she walk out the room, I say, y'all watch it. I shuffle the table up like dominoes. <laughs> she walk back in the room and she start reorganizing. Like, did I just fix this and everything? I'm like, y'all see what I go through? See, that's an example of making me appear crazy. I'm not making because... you appear that's, that's, that's not crazy. <laughs> because I am not crazy. I'm neat. I'm clean. I'm organized. I don't even call you know it what crazy. I, mean? I don't call it and crazy. And I just wish that he would be a little neater and a little cleaner. I go to school. I come home. <sighs> kids' homework ain't done. Dishes in the sink. I don't you know, that stuff. I do understand that he work and stuff too, but I mean, this is a, a, a team effort. A team effort. You okay. understand? And yeah, and, and, okay. Mr. Jones, you both work. Do you both contribute? Not equally, but at least substantially or yeah. meaningfully I to the I pay the brunt of all the bills. Stop it. Stop it. She likes to say that all the time. I pay the brunt of all the bills. I don't care what she likes to pay. I give up almost $1,260 a month just in... Cigarettes. Stop. You know, <laughs> cigarettes, gas, pampers for our little baby, you know, food when we run out of food. I, I do so all So you don't it. come with cash, you come with items. No. Come on now. Cash. Look at her. Oh, can't trust her with the cash? No, I mean, I get oh. all the cash. Look at her, she all... I pay everything. I take that. If he really tell the truth, ask him if he has any concerns. Since we've been together 16 years, he's never been without a I haven't a brought roof, up any concerns. Food, sh um... But he's saying he's contributing he to does that. He contribute. To that. But his figure is off. You know, maybe he's tallying, tallying up cigarettes, because he 
called That's Sybaris a necessity. A in our house. In it's my, a bill. That's a bill, my, right? In my budget That's a bill plan, I would love you to stop paying. I would, too. Yeah, but, I would love you, you to stop but, paying that bill. Hang on. I understand that. I, I, I understand. I, want, I wish I could just stop smoking. Because I, I, I got to tell you, you're paying somebody to kill you slowly. I know. It's just, it's, it's, it's. But it's, if I stop paying them, she's just going to kill me fast. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got to buy her cigarettes and a little wine. I don't drink at all, you know? She got to drink just to, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to relax her. So yes. You've been as soon as she walking home, I'm like, babe, here, you, you good? Here you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your cigarettes, here, you know? <laughs> Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, it, it, it seems to me that you might not get a great deal of a, a, a great opportunity to speak your mind in your own home. Are there any other things that you want to have an opportunity to tell me about what your living situation is like before we I kind of I almost figured out how to get through cuz you know I got a lot of girls in the house so it's like really loud so you know mm -hmm. I got to turn my surround sound up just to hit a TV I bought an air horn just so I can get my you know <laughs> hey uh cuz they loud Everybody that settle down No I got to honk it a few times I got to walk by each person and honk it <laughs> Even my son my little one 2 year old he screams like them we be chilling with the fellas and everything. He coming out. I want my joystick. Yeah! Oh, Lord, man. Go in there with your mama. On divorce court, what are you gonna do? I ask the tough questions. It wasn't me, It right? wasn't me. I didn't do it. Did you ever catch him? No, <laughs> but you tried. And I give you the answers. Men and women must explain themselves to one another. Because I pay his phone bill, Your Honor. Quit paying a man's phone bill, honey. Visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Barry, I'm going to say this to you. First of all, I like you both a lot. <laughs> you're, a little, you're a little mouthy, but I don't have to stay here long, so I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you to do this. Do not be afraid of whatever mental health issues you may have. A constant concern that we have in this country is everybody is afraid of appearing like they might be, have some mental health issues because it's shameful. Nothing wrong with it. If you're sick in your body, if you're sick in your head, all of it is a function of something that has happened to you or something that your brain is doing that doesn't allow you to live the best and most full and comfortable and peaceful life. So don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of, oh, something may be going on up here. I, you know, I don't worry about that all the time. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to tell people I go see a psychiatrist. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it, it, it I want to know what's wrong with me before anybody else figures it out so I can uh, make adjustments. And it doesn't make me less of a person that I've got fears and concerns that the rest of the world doesn't have. It doesn't make me less intelligent or any less able or any less capable. As a matter of fact, it makes me, it makes me a badder chick <laughs> that I have <laughs> mental health issues and concerns that, one, give me a great sense of creativity on one end, and two, I got handled on the back end. So don't be afraid of it. Face it. You know, fight it. Deal with it. Go see somebody about it because you have a right to be happy because you're a fabulous individual. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're a fabulous individual. <laughs> Mr. Jones with the STD aside, <laughs> you too are a fabulous individual. You keeping this woman contained. Not everybody could do it. No. I appreciate the fact that you do. Uh, I appreciate the love that you give her, the patience that you give her. I appreciate the joy that you bring to the circumstances in dealing with her issues in a way that is positive. You don't get mad about it. You understand it, and you work with it, and you deal with it, and, 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 it, and it, 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 it's a wonderful thing. You should talk to my husband, start a club or something. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it is a fabulous thing, and I wish you two the best. You two should stay together. Don't ever leave one another. <laughs> and, 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 and quit messing up the table and making the earth think she's confused. Tell us she's that. got enough going on without you, you know, mixing the pot up there. You got me? I mean. Ah, uh, this matter is adjourned.
The only shame in having mental health issues is that we shame people that have them and we do very little to help them. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 